Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here. Welcome to episode 9 of my Minecraft 1.20 Let's Play like it's 2010 again. I've just logged into the world, um, I think last night, or I don't remember when, but I farmed a bunch more cows. And uh, we got a few more books. And yeah, we're going to basically finish out the enchantment area. And then we're going to work on the castle moat. We're going to get a lava dripstone farm going, which will be kind of fun. Hopefully we have enough iron for that. We'll kind of see. I don't actually know if I will have enough iron, but we're going to try our hardest. And there we go. Okay, all the books are done. Last thing to do is to make some actual bookshelves, which eh, we're actually kind of running low on wood. I don't know if you guys remember all of the uh, wood that we gathered for this enchantment area. I did kind of just decide to put some ladders here. I don't really see of another good, easy way for us to get up and down here. And uh, you know what? Nobody really hates ladders. I feel like ladders are just fine. So ladders it is. I am just filling in these with bookshelves as I intended to do. Oh, well, maybe it's not such a bad thing, but we are going to break it with a shovel. So I don't know if this is a full level 30 enchantment table. I don't really know how it couldn't be, to be honest with you. I'm going to probably put a bookshelf here and then take one away right here. And then we'll go ahead and just stack another right there. Just so that we can put ladders. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Oh, broke a little bit too low. Nice. Okay. So that should be a full level 30 enchantment table. Um, ideally, I'd have more than one like lectern and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know. I think you can put enchanted or no written books on them. I don't know. But for right now, we will just do that. And we could do that on every single corner. I think that would look so good. When we have more iron, <laughs> I think for right now, we're kind of stretched thin on resources. So I'm going to basically transfer all this stuff over back to the house. That way everything is organized. I never planned on just kind of leaving it all strung about here. Um, that was never the intention. So I will meet you guys back when I have moved everything back to the house. And yes, I am putting the pink bed back. Okay, now we do have another ominous banner, and I don't know where to put it. I just realized, too, I think the horse can get out. I think it could walk up those steps and leave. So it's up to the horse. If it wants to leave, it'll leave. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Now, I don't know exactly where to put it, but I'm I'm, I'm going to take a wild guess here. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Maybe a little bit dark outside the castle. We never added lighting. There was still a ton of texturing things I wanted to do. Like, on the inside of the castle, it's just a little bit... Yeah. You know, it could have some more. And I'm sorry if my voice isn't fully woken up yet. I have just woken up, but oh, I've just been... I'll wake up and I'm excited to record and I've missed that feeling. It's been years, man. It's been years. Okay. Oh, it's about to be night. I'm going to sleep. Okay. Almost done. A couple more chests to go. I did just kind of start this because I saw I had started it and I remember saying I'm waiting till I have an efficiency shovel because this would be a pain without this. But it's so nice with it. Like, look at this. Oh, I even forgot there was a cave there. I don't even know if we ever have ever have had access to it or not. We'll fix up all that. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm not, I'm not the type to just make things look bad and leave them there. I promise. I have uh, started a new plan. I mean, it's not a new plan. I just started doing something that I was going to end up doing anyways. I am making a path because... A build this magnificent is going to need a path. Now, it is very wide at the beginning, but I'm going to, you can kind of see how I'm like tapering it down. And then hopefully it'll turn into like a normal, a normal size path. Like right about there is perfect. We don't want it to be like super huge the whole way. We don't have enough shovels for that. And it also might just end up looking kind of weird. So I think this looks pretty good thus far. Uh, it is kind of annoying having a shovel that breaks that fast, but. I think it's the lesser of two evils, if you compare it to breaking slow. Okay, so now the path should be like a respectable size. And we'll kind of bring it over here, and then it'll kind of curve around here and go over there. And I'll kind of finish it out. I'm just going to bring it over there and meet it with that one. It should be pretty easy. Okay, so we have the path like this. Nice. And then it kind of comes over here. And I think I'm actually going to have a staircase that goes up right there. Because otherwise, it's just in kind of a crappy spot. 
like having to go, you know, every time we want to enchant going all the way over here. Actually, is it that bad? <laughs> I didn't realize it was such a short walk. But it seems like more often than not, when I come from my castle, I just kind of hop straight down there. So maybe we can just make a little shortcut, like right here, and uh, it would work out pretty nicely. Maybe. Potentially. I'm just kind of shaping the uh, landscape as needed. Which, uh, well, I think this bed is a little bit closer. So let me go sleep, figure that out. Um, once I get it figured out, this has been bothering me like for a long time, so I'm going to... Fix that up, and now you can't even tell. Let's go. Now, the only real problem I see is that if we want to make it two blocks, well, so with the slab, you have to do two blocks, go up two blocks, and then go up two blocks because the slab goes right here and here and here and here like this. You know, with a normal stair, it can go up, you know, like boom, 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 boom. Right, but... If you put a slab like there and there, then you, you know, you can't walk on it. So I don't know if there's enough room, actually. I'm thinking about it in my head. I don't know if there's enough room for this to fit here. Now, another issue is that I don't want to like, I'll show you what I mean. I'd have to flatten it out first and then go into the path, which also kind of is a double tricky thing because I'm not so sure it's going to look too, too good. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So we'll put like the first slab here and then we got to, you know, go up one. Yeah, we'll have enough room. Who am I kidding? Who is this guy you replaced me with? What does he know? Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, dude, let's go. Okay. I don't know why. In my head, I was like, I don't know if there's enough room here. Yeah, I think there's a tough room. I think we're just fine. Cool. So then another two like that. And then another two, like that. It's so easy, dude. When you have a shovel like this, projects like that, you shouldn't even think about it. You shouldn't even think about it. Now, I'm gonna try to light that up as much as I can. I don't. I think I did a pretty uh, poor job of lighting it up, but I just need to cover up things like this because I'm gonna fall in it and die, and I just don't, I don't wanna deal with that. <laughs> I, don't want, I don't wanna deal with the comments saying, Neo, you're terrible, you're trash at the game. And I also don't want to deal with dying. No one will know. Nobody will know. Okay, and then boom, boom, boom. Yeah. There we go. Okay, nice. And then we just got to literally... Easy peasy lemon squeezy. There we go. Nice. Cool. Okay, so now we have a nice path. We can kind of thicken it out, and then it'll naturally thin itself out here. And then, obviously, we just have to make all this into path. Now, I will, at some point, like... Oh, I guess I forgot a row. I will, at some point, put some fence around all these paths. They're kind of barren at the moment, which is okay. I'm not, like, hating it. If I never end up doing it, I'm not going to, like, be upset or anything. But it definitely needs a little bit of something. We need to put some cherry trees here. Which, ooh, I actually have a subtray tree sapling, so boom. And boom. And then I just kind of see these opportunities. Because otherwise, this will be a little barren. I think once those grow, everything will be nice. I look straight at him. I look straight at the guy. Uh nobody saw that. But look at that. Oh, a nice path. And all the chests are gone, by the way. There's no more chests over there. So we're good. So let's start to make this moat. Okay, I got everything put up. I got what we need, which is nice. And I'm, I'm confused because I thought, oh, wait. No, they're so expensive. We're going to have to go on a mining expedition, like a real mining expedition. Go out in the distance, try to find a fat cave because we have no, we just have no business doing anything until we get some more iron and stuff. And I would like to repair this pickaxe, but like, ah, oh, it's so expensive. I imagine it's so expensive to repair. Um, you know what we can do is we can take like three diamonds with us for when and if we go adventure. Uh, I, I don't know how to get across the moat. If I build the moat, then I got to mess with redstone potentially. And I don't, <laughs> I'm kind of scared. Also, I, I, the moat, it's, it's not wide enough. 
No, it's see, because I, I don't want to have to fill in from all the way down there. And this one is messed up. This is not supposed to be like that. That is not supposed to be there. Um, it's it's too like thin right there to reasonably put a moat. And I know, I know. I'll mine them, I'll mine them, I'll mine them, I'll mine them. But I don't know where to put the you know what I mean? Like where where do I put the moat? If I have a moat go all the way around, like over here, it's like literally only three blocks. You know what I mean? Yeah, I could widen it, but yeah, I could widen it. <laughs> I could just widen it. And I could just widen it over here, but do I want to have to like... Because uh, I don't really see a problem with mobs being over here. Hmm. Do I even want a moat? That's the question. Do I even want to deal with the lava sounds? It would feel so much more castle-like if we had a moat. But there's... I'm going to have to do a few things. So, if we want to truly do a moat, you know what I'm going to have to do? I am going to have to make some smooth stone, first of all. Which is not, like, super hard, right? It's not, like, it's not actually that hard. I don't need a whole stack each. Oh! Oh! Oh, thank you, good sir. For some reason, I already... Oh! A little bit of iron. Anything else just hiding in here? Oh, I hear a cat meowing. I think a cat needs some attention. Not right now. It's moat time, baby. Okay, so we'll let that smelt. We'll grab a little bit of dirt. And uh, we'll start working on this. Okay. Uh, we may need a lot more dirt. Because <laughs> if we need to thicken out the part I'm thinking about, um, which is over here... How much thicker does it realistically need to be? I want the moat to be like one away from the castle. So like one, two, three. Okay, so if that's the case, then one, two, three. Okay, so this this needs to be extended out to like there. Which means I'll I'll have to change a few things. Like this is gonna have to go up. Actually, these don't even need to be here. <laughs> if I'm honest. Do I want them there though? I don't know. That's fine. We'll remove them for now. If we want to add them back in the future, we totally can. Will not be a problem. But I think this is going to have to be at least this wide, right? Let me just kind of think this out in my head. Okay. And I will fill it in. I'm not going to leave it hollow. I'm just doing this so I can kind of see this. So one block away and then it'll be one, two, three. And then you have two blocks on the side. I think if there is three blocks, yeah, we already had three blocks on the side. That would be best. If there was four, that would be excellent. Something like that, right? Okay. <laughs> That's going to be a lot of dirt. I hope you guys realize. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is take this all the way over. All the way. And then we have to work on the back, too. Ooh, we have to work on the back. That's okay. It's fine. It'll be nice and like terraformed. It'll look really good. Um, it's just going to be a lot of dirt. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of dirt. Um, I don't even know how far out to go. I guess we'll probably want to raise it up to be like at least to here along the entire thing. That should give us ample room on the back end. And then we want to make sure and like actually... Like, make it look somewhat natural. I know, like, when I say natural, it doesn't mean a lot because, I mean, how can this be natural when we're terraforming? But you want to give it some sort of organic feel, I guess, is, is a better way to put it. Okay, we'll continue this after I sleep because I'm going to die if I don't sleep. I know I'll get run up on by a creeper. And I'm going to try to lose these 20 whole levels I've gathered. Oh, my gosh. How did this happen? Oh, and I was trying to see how wide the moat would be. Nice. Hello, horsey. I wish you were quicker and I'd ride you more, but you're so slow. Okay, another day, another dollar. Another day, another dollar. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, well, preemptively, I'm going to light this up because I know it's going to be covered up and not in a pretty way. And thankfully, now that it's, you know, it just has to be above light level zero. What? Oh, it must have fallen. You don't have to go absolutely crazy when filling in stuff like that. So there was copper next to us the entire time. If you know, you know, but we were looking for copper at some point and we had the most difficult of times pretty much just because I'm not lazy, but it was my fault. There's a lot of these corn flowers here, man. Wow. A lot of these corn flowers. I'm breaking them because I don't think, I think if you put a, try to put a block on them, it just, yeah, it just does that. 
So I don't want to. I don't want to have a bunch of empty space. This thing, I will just go ahead and uh, yeah, we'll just cover it up like that. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Nobody's got to know, dude. I love how I say nobody's got to know, and literally everybody who's watching knows, which is the only people. The only people that matter in, in this world are the people that know, so <laughs> uh, we just won't say anything. Luckily, not too bad. So I think you guys kind of get the idea, and then I'll fill that in off camera. So you guys kind of see where it'll be up to like here. Yeah, somewhere around there. And then over here is where I was kind of being a little bit uh, scared about. So if we wanted to be one block away... Just one block away? Can't really run around the castle with that much room. Do I really just want it one block away? Hold on. I think that's a little... Yeah, I mean... We could go out another block. Two blocks away. I mean, you, you can run around the castle with two blocks. More comfortably, at least. I mean, it, it does go all the way out to here. Right? So you could even go... Yeah, we'll do two blocks away. Two blocks away. Okay. So let me just kind of line this out so that I'm not confused. Eh, the staircase might be shifted a little bit, but that's okay. That's not really a big deal. It's not like it's hard to like... <laughs> Look at Neo complaining about the strangest things. We literally just go boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Like that. Nobody will know. I mean, some people might know, but... It's okay. It's okay if they know. It doesn't really matter. There we go. Just kind of do that. And then we'll leave the corner somewhat rounded. There you go. Oh, that that was so hard. <laughs> that was just so hard. I just can't handle it. Wow. Okay, that actually, that actually worked out better. Now, I leave these here because sometimes you want to just, like, run up the side. So, there we go. Okay. So, two blocks of distance, and then, of course, two blocks, yep, something like that. Now, on this side is where it gets a little bit tricky, because, I, yeah, I mean, filling in all this, like, whatever, that's pretty, that's pretty easy to do, but it makes the path kind of weird. Maybe we should just, maybe we should just do this, right, and then move these over transpose the slabs in the other direction oh I guess we only need two well yeah I guess we do only need two like that there we go to fill this in now I know you're like Neo you're using dirt well it doesn't really matter if you you are using grass because the grass will just turn into dirt so not a big deal at all and then, I don't know about over there we'll figure that out later There we go. Okay, nice, nice. And if you want to, you can always like, you know, curve it a little bit. It's if that is inside the stairs, so I'm not going to do it there. But yeah, the reason I did all this was because <laughs> this thing's going to have to be expanded out a little bit. Now, I might only expand it out where the moat is just because I don't want it to like seem weird. But to do that, if we're two blocks away from the edge here, that's that's uh so the moat will be 1 2 3. Okay, and then we want to have at least two blocks of dirt on the edge. Well, at least two blocks of grass on the edge. So maybe we'll expand it out, like starting right there. Something like that. And if we build all these up, so this should have already built up to begin with, then you have a little bit of space over here, but we're going to need a little bit more. And so I can kind of remember in my head, I think if we just come out like this, then we should be good. <laughs> maybe we'll see and we'll try to kind of copy um we'll try to we'll, we'll try to copy how far up this goes that way it doesn't look weird and then if we don't have to fill in that little gap we'll just boop 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 little torches little torches and you can even put some secret storage in there man if you were trying to hide some valuables what better place than right there to put them so let's go up here and let's see is this wide enough uh, no, <laughs> I don't think so because it needs to be one two three and then we have a one block gap there Nah, so we're gonna have to take away this planter See, this is why I was hesitant because then we start taking away planters. What's next? 
They're gonna take my they're gonna take my farm. They're gonna take my windmill. Where's it end? Where's it end, man? Oh no. Okay. Well, a little tricky, but it's okay. Probably shouldn't have used the smooth stone to do that, but this is what it is. At least we get a little bit of cherry wood. I'll stop it right there because otherwise I'm going to end up breaking all these trees and I, I don't really need to. I just needed to break those. Okay. So like I was saying, and yeah, we may actually just want to kind of just a little bit come in here. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to try to go get a bunch more smooth stone. I'm going to need to smelt a lot more than I thought. So I'll try it with the amount we smelted and then I'll make more just in case I'm goofing up. I don't want to like make too much like, you know. But we never do that. We never make too much. Probably want to thin it out earlier. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Okay. And then... <laughs> this <laughs> this may end up looking a little strange, but it's okay. We just... I, I think... I think this will be big enough. Maybe. We have to break this planter. My valley is being encroached by the moat. It, honestly, it, it, it's a good thing to have the moat because then we'll say, you know, well, we wanted to have it in the first place, but it's good to have it. It'll protect us, you know, because we've been in danger so many times, you know, being there, you know, so many times. I think I'll probably just expand this over straight over to here and this should be good, right? Let me like build up here and just make sure that this is wide enough. Yeah, yeah I think it might be okay. Now, I did foolishly put my diamond hoe up. I got to go grab that because we're going to need that. I'll fill in this wall. I'll come back when it's done. It's You, you kind of get the gist of it. You saw the beginning, and I'm just going to build up from there. Okay, so I actually have a really cool idea. And uh, it came from being lazy, but it ended up maybe potentially being a really cool idea. I'm not exactly sure yet. So, essentially, I left some areas hollow down there. And I know a few of you are like, Neo... Why would you leave it hollow? But trust me, okay? It's gonna turn out, it's gonna be really cool. So first of all, the part that doesn't need to be hollow will not be hollow, right? So we'll be able to do, and these are just here for markings so that I can mark out the moat, just like this. Boom, there we go. And there we go. So these can just go away, right? So the moat can be very wide. Don't really have to worry about it. And I do still have to fill in the other side, so you'll have to give me give me some grace here. Wait a little bit. So it'll start off two blocks from the edge. Why did that scare me so bad? I like froze. I was like, oh god, it's the end. Um, okay, so something like this, right? For the moat. And I know I can't pick up the grass, whatever. Uh, but there's a hollow area, and we needed a spot for our actual dripstone farm. And if you come down here, you can see uh, there is a very large hollow area. I mean, uh, I say very large. There is a decently sized hollow area. So we could potentially have our dripstone farm be something like in here. I think that would be really cool. Do you guys think that'd be cool? A little secret base. We'll put some nice windows here or something. I think it could be really nice. So we'll leave this open. Just so that I kind of, you know, remember to put it here. I, not that I think I'd really forget, but just just in case I somehow forget. Uh, we'll go ahead and light it up really well. I think this is a cool place. I mean, I don't know about you, but I think this is pretty cool. I think we could do something with that. We'll leave that there for now. This planter is going to have to go, unfortunately. Goodbye, my good sir. You served us very well and brought us much, much cherry wood. As much as you possibly could with your small one block stature. Okay, so now the rest is just filling it in. Like, this will be hollow. It doesn't matter. There's nothing in there except... Uh, I mean, it doesn't matter, right? There's just one chicken in there. I mean... There's just one chicken in there. <laughs> I could probably get the chicken out. Hey, buddy, um, I have some seeds. Some great, great seed. Yes, the best. This is a, 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 a high tier of seed. There you go. Now, nobody... Nobody... Will know. <laughs> the secrets that this world holds. They're pretty extreme, I'm not gonna lie. We got some pretty big secrets. 
And then we're gonna have to just cut off our path. Oh, poor path. I remember this? Remember we were gonna do one block wider, or one block originally. So we gotta put that back. There we go. Okay. So it's coming together. We did have to terraform quite a bit. It's a little bit thin right here, but that's the only spot that it's thin. I'm not too concerned. It's literally the only spot. There's a big, big area over here um, for putting stuff in. I mean, we could put something in there too. Okay, and then this this side is good over here. It's just now the fill in part. Like we gotta fill this whole thing in because otherwise it's gonna look really strange. So give me a bit. I'm not gonna make this one hollow just because I think it'll be a little bit weird if this one's hollow. I don't know why. I just get the feeling like this one, it would be weird if we left this part hollow. So now we get to do some terraforming. I'll be back in a bit. Really, I'm about to go get lunch. I'll be back in a couple hours, but <laughs> you won't know. Yo, dude, guess who's back from lunch feeling good like I just ate brunch. Now, I have a hunch I'm going to be filling this up so much. Much and brunch don't rhyme, do they? <laughs> I could have kept it going. I could have kept it going, but I didn't. Um, do we want to fill that in? No. But welcome. I hope you guys had a good less than one second pause in between clips. I mean, really, in reality, there's like no frames between each clip. So you didn't even get a break. You know what? For all you out there who are just watching, go grab yourself a snack. Go grab yourself a, a bottle of water, a nice glass of delicious water, and go drink it. Because if you're not hydrated, then what are you? A criminal? Maybe. I don't know. Um, I don't think I think it's criminals. I'm just saying, you know, it's criminal not to drink water. Am I right? Ha. <laughs> Am I trying to entertain myself while filling in a bunch of dirt? Yes. Are you going to watch it? Well, that's yet to be seen. So I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure exactly the plan. I guess we'll put lava in the bottom, but I wanted to put dripstone. Um, I'm already out of dirt. Oh my gosh. We grabbed like six or seven stacks of dirt. Yeah, we're going to need to get more dirt. But yes, I don't know. Are, are we going to put like lava in the bottom or dripstone or how is this going to work? And I don't know. And that's the kind of the fun part. You just got to freestyle it a little bit. Um, now, one thing I am. Wait, I have spots for all these things right here. Right here. And this goes right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then this is from the little... Okay, we're gonna go on a mining expedition after. I couldn't remember for the life of me what we were gonna do after this. But now I know. I know we're gonna need some buckets for some lava, which I know where some lava is. It's like, uh, I know there's that pocket under us, but it's almost empty. There's a lava pool over there I always see, so we'll go get lava from over there when we need it. Okay, and now the moat is, I mean, it's not complete, but I did also realize this is not enough dripstone for this whole thing. Um, not even uh, a quarter of what we'll need. Nor do I know. <clears throat> nor do I know how this is going to work. Uh, this needs to be thickened up a little bit. There we go. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. Like, hey, I mean, every time, like, imagine we're coming home from a big mining trip. We got like twenty diamonds, and we just, uh, and then we fall in and die. I don't know how deep it, it needs to be. Probably like. I'm gonna say four blocks deep is probably good. Any deeper and it's just kind of pointless. And <clears throat> I don't know if like lava being up here is too close. Because if it's not, then I'll just say it's one block deep and man, we don't really need to do dripstone. It's kind of a weird way to do a moat. Either way, let's go grab lava. It's, I, I kind of want to start generating the lava now. I don't, ooh. Oh, I forgot about this. I don't know if we'll be able to get enough to like fill this thing. I want to like fill it in all the way, right? I don't want to have it where there's just buckets thrown about and the lava's all flowing messily and not like one steady pool of lava, if that makes sense. So in order to make that happen, either we need to make a ton of buckets or we need to have renewable lava, which we're going to have. Uh, only issue being, we don't, have we, what do we have? Four cauldrons or five cauldrons? That's not enough. So <clears throat> maybe what we'll do is while we mine, we'll let it generate us some lava. Uh, now, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Surely that's not what I've been seeing this. Oh, 
right next to our house too jeez louise squeeze my knees for free that's huge is there a dungeon no if only if only i haven't found a surface dungeon in a long long time i don't want to take that lava i want to take it from a pool that's like a cool landscape feature i feel like i saw one over here and uh plus you know it's nice to get a little lay of the land close to home yeah, you're just hanging out in there. You seem like you're having a good day. I don't want to ruin it. Now, what's over here? Just your bog standard hole? Oh, no. This looks like a very large cave with a skeleton. With a skeleton. That's great. Let's see if I can... What am I doing? I need armor. But yeah, this is, this is not just a bog standard cave. This is a big old massive cave. Okay, well that's that's awesome to know that it's here, but I don't have any I don't have any lava. We're here for lava. I thought there was a lava pool around here. We'll keep looking. I know it's somewhere. And if not, then we know of one that's under our base. Oh no, it's gonna be dark soon. We should head back if we were smart. Notice how I'm not heading back. Is it right here? Nope, that's a cave. Dude, come on. There's gotta be a lava pool around here. Actually. When it's night, it'll be easier to find it. Aha! The world is trying to help me. Okay, we're good. We just have to wait. See? Perspective matters. Okay, you could say, Oh, no, it's going to be night. I'm going to die. Or, Oh, the world is trying to help me by illuminating the lava pool I'm looking for. Can you apply that to real life? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. There's always a... There isn't always a bright side. I wish they would. I wish people would say that more. Sometimes things just suck. Like there's no, there's not a bright side to some things. But I think everything happens for a reason, even if it's for a bad one. I think that's kind of a stupid piece of advice. Well, yeah, everything happens for a reason. I'm just kind of waiting for it to be dark. And if I make my brightness scale, no, I'll make it bright. No, it shouldn't make it stand out any more or less. Well, hello guys. We're gonna be braving the night together with my minimal armor. I could make myself a pair of boots. Oh, I am sorry about your face. Uh, whoopsies. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. I get it. I could... Oh, I have enough diamonds. I could have made a helmet, but... Yeah, it is what it is. Okay. That is probably what I was seeing the whole time. That little lava flow thing over there. I don't think there was a lava pool. Oof. Okay. I swear... That there was a lava pool somewhere near my base. I remember looking at it and being like, that'll be helpful for when I need lava. But it could have been that. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's a full lunar eclipse. Does that mean the zombies are easier? Now, strangely enough, I don't like to have my torch on at night because it... Like, I, I think you guys can see fine right now. I don't think it's that difficult. <laughs> You spiders, not a big deal. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, okay. Wow, five spiders, four spiders. That's a little bit of a bigger deal. Wow, I'm getting absolutely destroyed. <laughs> Although, to be fair, the spider uh, attack range is a little high. It's kind of strange. I feel like I have not experienced my base at night ever. I actually don't think I have. I'm going to avoid the skeleton. The only thing that scares me in this game... The creepers, I'm not, like, scared of them. I'm more, uh, upset when they blow up. They're not hard to fight. They're just annoying to clean up after. Now, I think mobs falling onto my crops could cause some issues. Was it over here, perhaps? I know, I know for a fact there is one. Like, I just know. Oh, come on. I don't want to go to the CBC SOG at night and end up with some dead, some dead cows. Uh, I guess not. Wow, you hit me while I was running? Wow. Very good. Nope. <laughs> well, it is what it is. We're going to have to go and... Yeah, it looks a little strange. We can, add, we can add like a retaining wall to all those little dirt hills, like some cobblestone retaining walls. They could look good or some deep slate or... Well, really anything. Wait. Wait. Then rest in peace, nosy. Hey, a lava pool. Uh, no. <laughs> it's not very easy to get to. Oh, no. That's a... 
That's a tall lava pool. Well, if we need copper, I know to come down here at least. How are the fishies doing? You doing good? High five. High five. High five. Okay. Okay. Now, how do I get up here without getting absolutely destroyed? It's a good question. All of this for eight lava buckets. If only we had more. We could have made two more. But I, uh, wasted them. I didn't waste them, but I made, uh, <laughs> a pair of boots instead. I guess I value boots more. Yeah, it still lags over here quite a bit, so I think we still have a lot of cows. I mean, it says on the screen 700, so maybe we killed a third. Probably more like a fourth of the population, something like that. No! 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 You know what? No. No. You know what? No. 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 We're coming back stronger. We're coming back so strong you won't believe it. We're going to come back with a stack of iron blocks. Now, you may say, Neo, you're crazy. He's crazy. Guys, he's crazy. Watch out. Neo's crazy. Maybe I am. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I'm not that crazy. <laughs> uh, oh, the mix of creepers and skeletons and zombies. I hate this. Oh, I hate this. I want. I don't like this for the poor cows. These cows have never experienced violence. Did you just hit a cow? You need to watch where you're shooting, sir. Baby zombie, run. Baby zombie, run. Get out of here, quick. No. Ha <laughs> ha, we won. Now you're, you're asking yourself, why did you just throw away the iron and the buckets? What is your problem? Number one, I was frustrated. Number two, sometimes I can't, you know, control my emotions too well. I get frustrated and I do things I regret, okay? Like throw buckets in lava. Um, but actually it's because I'm going to go mine and I'm, I'm going to get so much iron that everyone is going to look at me and be like, wow, Neo, you have the best iron. Everyone loves your iron. It is the coolest iron. Wow. <sighs> okay. Uh, we will put a retaining wall there because you know, it's a little strange like that, I will admit. A little strange. Also, how the path just goes right into this was always kind of a... Uh, a strange feature of this path. So let's... Uh, yeah, there you go. You go right around the path. And then honestly, since this is used like this so much, why don't we just kind of... That makes a little bit more sense. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. So, yes, I did get frustrated, but I also... I did. I, I need way more. I need way more just iron in general. So, let's go ahead and put up everything we don't need. We're not gonna get frustrated again. We're not gonna get frustrated again. We're not gonna get frustrated. Again. I am gonna make one of these before we go, just so that we have it. I feel like I feel like this mining trip we're about to embark on is going to be a very, very, very lengthy one. I'm gonna bring a stack of coal. I'm gonna bring a stack of coal. I'm gonna bring almost a stack of logs. I don't need either of those. I have so many. One singular chicken egg. If only you could make boiled eggs. That'd be pretty cool. And if it sounds kind of mean, I just mean so like you have an extra source of food, you know. But I guess chickens just give you chicken, so that's kind of a good source of food in and of itself. There. Where else? What else do we need to put up? We have a water bucket. Uh, we have more than enough steak. I say that now, but maybe we should grab a little bit more. Yeah, 63 is good. Um. If I don't have enough iron by the time I'm needing to repair this, then I've probably failed. So, I'm going to do a Neo mining expedition. And you're probably asking yourself, what, what does that mean, dude? And uh, that means we go off in a direction, and then we dig straight down. Yeah, you heard it right. Do we need this hoe with us? No, that's this is a waste of space. But you know what? We're so rich. We don't need that. We don't need that. We really don't need our axe either. I'm going to pick that up. I regret that. <laughs> I regret that. No, 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 You see, this is a special tool. Yeah, sure. Blow up the village. Blow up the village. Fine. I'm going to have to tear it down to rebuild it anyways. Let me put this up because I will regret throwing it on the ground. 
So I'm I'm acting out of emotion right now. I, I need to I need to take a deep breath, calm myself before I do more things I regret. So let's go ahead, head to our tool chest. And yes, just a boop boop boop. I don't plan on needing a shovel. Sword, yeah, we'll probably need a sword. Hmm, could we get some better enchants? Hmm, maybe we could get some better enchants. Uh, looting three is great and all, but with 21, oh wow, we have one diamond left. We have one diamond left, what? No, dude, that's not good. Okay, let's, let's go over here. Also, one thing I didn't do. Wow, what? We had more than that. Um, I don't know how many we're gonna need, but I, I was gonna make some barrels, okay? Because, oh, not those, barrels. Because when we go down to our area, if you know what I'm talking about, the uh, enchanting area, there's no, there's, all this stuff should be down there, first of all. Um, we could repurpose that for something else. And then also, what was I trying to think of? We need to put, see, we have this, we have the barrels for those, and that's all good. So for all this stuff, goes in that barrel, boom, boom. There is something else I'm missing that I know I was gonna get. Let me think. Hold on. I am a smart, smart man. All the lapis we get should for sure go in there. I don't know how much that'll turn into. Good. Okay. Emeralds should probably be there too, but eh, it's okay. All right. To the enchantment table. We're gonna take our path for once. I'll usually skip around it. Boom. Okay. That's a little, uh, I don't have my shovel with me. <gasps> oh, oh no. No, 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 no. You need to be... Mm. <laughs> we'll remember it eventually. We'll remember it eventually. Isn't this nice? Oh, look at the librarians out and about. Hello, good sir. Look at the cherry trees. Oh, yeah. Look at that wide cherry tree. That's got a wide stance to her, don't it? Woo, she a wide cherry tree. Looting too. Why are you all the way out here? You want to go live in my epic library? <laughs> I think that's a no. I've got to be completely honest with you guys. I think I think that's a no. I think that's a no. Okay, we'll come up here. Nice and wide path. Ooh. And congeals to this. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I said I took this away. I was lying. Get out of here. Actually, we probably, we, <laughs> we probably need those chests for down in here. Okay, so, you know, some utility should be provided by having this large of an area. Um, you know, we could store, I feel like barrels, if I want it to still look good, I can do barrels like this, okay, same thing over here, yep, that is pretty cool, and then, uh, we could do a double chest, and now we can always store things in here, there we go, nice. So I just need one piece of lapis, maybe two. Is there really a zombie? Where? Where is this zombie? Is it just right down in here? What? Wait. Ah, I see, I see, okay. Uh, I'm gonna need to go over here to get more uh, Get more cobblestone so we can build back up anyways This might be a good cave to explore but not really because there's so many mobs in here already because these chunks have been loaded So we're not gonna explore in here. Uh, we're gonna need to build a path back up too. So it's gonna require quite a bit of block Okay Oh good lord. Why? 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 If there was an enchant or some sort of... I, I would literally pay a stack of diamond blocks if it meant no more skeletons. And your Like, no more skeletons would spawn in, this, in the world that you craft this thing for. I would pay so much money for that. Okay. Nice. Nobody will know. Give me something good, please, dude. I, I am actually... I am not... I am not unhappy about that. I'm gonna try to just use this one because this one has that looting on it and I really need to save that for the leather. I'm not the biggest fan of how this looks down here. To me, to me personally, it looks a little bit messy just because it looks like a bunch of books down there, but 
Oh, this whole thing is beautiful, man. I I haven't gotten to see the comments or the reactions to uh to this build yet because I'm recording this one the day after I recorded the episode where I built this thing. So I haven't gotten to see what people think. I hope they like it. I mean, I would assume like uh, to me it looks really cool. I feel like objectively it's cool. Maybe a little over textured at the <laughs> at the top looks like a crown or something. I don't know. But yes, you have to uh, my rule for for finding cool caves is you got to find something that just looks strange above ground. And it's you don't look for it. You will just feel it, and you will find it, and then you dig down straight below it, and you should be lucky. And you will get so many blocks. It doesn't matter where it is above ground. It just needs to be above ground. And we're going to have to find it before nightfall, I think. Oh, please don't start sinking. No, <laughs> get me out of here. Bro, get me out of here. Like, what did you guys add in the in the update? Oh, we put some snow you sink into. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what the purpose is. I, I, maybe you can do something cool with it. I, I, I don't I don't really think you can. I don't know. Something strange. Hmm. I'm not feeling anything too strange yet. I do remember over there is really cool, really beautiful. Sorry, I had to sneeze super bad. Um. Okay. Okay. I'm I'm, I'm getting a vibe over here. No, no, I'm not. That's just a rocky shore. We did do good exploring in the last episode. Like, really good exploring. A hearing a zombie moan and groan? Not that strange. Not that strange. Something will stand out eventually. It has to. Hey! I didn't know there was a village over there. Or maybe I did. Maybe we explored that. I don't remember. I think that's some ice over there. That's kind of weird. That's supposed to be there. Yeah, it is. That's just like on right next to a snow biome. Okay, well I'll keep running. When I find something strange, I'll let you know, or I'll just dig straight down. I don't really think it matters, but it's fun to find something strange and then dig down. Give yourself an. It's not actually strange, but it's it's what we got. It's what we got. Maybe may we'll go a little bit further. I I don't really remember what's on the other side of this. Ooh, I think I actually do. I think I remember being over here. Well, one coal ore in the middle of a, a in the middle. Kind of strange. See you guys when we fall. Okay, a little bit of water. We gotta swim. We gotta swim. This is not turning out great. Okay, we're going in here. We're going in here. Gonna make a little airlock. Now we're going down. Please be a nice cave. And please don't just absolutely destroy me. Please, oh great Minecraft. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Right on time, right on time. That's really what we need the most. That's what we're gonna like kind of prioritize in our hot bar is hot bar is iron. We need iron very badly. That's why we're coming down here. That's why we're coming down here. Anything could happen. Except an ancient city. There's no mountain here, so no ancient cities. Uh, sorry, I, I thought I heard a lava pop. If I hear lava pop, then I quit digging because I just don't want to fall into a pool of lava. That's not too appealing to me. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Here we go. Oh. That was strange, wasn't it? Yeah, a little bit strange, huh? You feeling the strangeness now, Mr. Krabs? I hear lava. Oh, that, that water flow is from me, probably. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Every time I am telling you guys and we have fortune three we have fortune three every single freaking time I dig straight down I find a cave That is That is one part about the new update. I love so much. There's so many caves man. It's so nice. Ooh, that'll be cool Okay Go ahead and break this I guess you're not breaking it by doing that. Now we have efficiency four. So maybe it's wise we get a little bit of obsidian now that it's quick. No, no, no. I don't need it. I don't need it. 
We're on a mission. We need to find those big iron veins, and once I find one, I'm mining out the entirety of it. What? Well, decide where you want to flow, Mr. Lava. You stupid idiot. Oh, I'm sorry, Lava. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Don't come back to haunt me, please. Oh, it's trying to. We'll find a big vein. Wait. Where was that zombie? We're digging. Oh! Oh! What? Oh! I was about to hit the, 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 the record pause button and then... Okay. Okay, so you're right here. Right? No. No, you're not. Where are you? Up here? Ah. Uh, almost. You almost had me, but you didn't. You didn't quite have me. I am very happy to see this, though. I don't know why my allergies are, like, all of a sudden bothering me, man. Might be allergic to the mineshaft must. The mineshaft musty smell. It's in here. It's so musty in here. <laughs> it looks so funny. Oh. Gotta love Minecraft sometimes. Lava, you can't destroy a little railroad, but you can destroy a strong man like Steve any day of the week. It's always nice to be down here. You got infinite wood. You don't have to worry about, you know, running out of wood or anything like that. Easy to find dungeons and mine shafts. Easy to find pretty much every resource. Especially because this one is like super, super low. So we could find, oh, we could find some diamonds down here pretty easy. Yeah, ha, 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 let's go. It's just because it's so low, man. You know, if I could come out of here with a full set of diamond armor... I'd be one happy camper. That would be awesome. Okay, that's 12 diamonds. What is it, 25 for a full set? Because, I'll be honest, once you're down low, the diamonds flow. Just remember that, down low, diamonds flow. If you remember that, you'll be the greatest adventurer there ever was. Plus, when you mine quickly, man, I mean, you could just boom, 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 right through everything. I mean, I've been playing for a long time, too, so I just kind of, I feel the patterns, man. I know exactly where it's going to be fruitful to explore and where not so much. The intuition comes with time. Um, this is still pretty low bearing, so we'll stay down here. Is that a big vein? No, these poison spiders. Uh, I think they might be. Uh, either way, we need to make some torches. Let's make a couple. Of I'm sorry my voice is getting nasally, man. It's the, the allergies. The must in here is unreal. Aha, uh -huh. unused boss room. Okay. Uh, any diamonds? No. Any diamonds? Hello, diamonds. Bro, what are the chances of that? Like what, like, what are the chances that that decides to ignite right when I jump past it? Very low, I'll tell you that much. See? I thought that was a diamond. My eyes are trained to see the blue. They're trained to see the blue. We're going to find more. We're going to find more. This is a big cave system. There's like 20 different directions I can go. Wait a second. Clay down low? Slow you must go. For a, a lush cave is upon you. Those, that, that, that's one of the oldest proverbs in Minecraftia. Why am I just now getting this gold? Because I've passed by like 20 gold veins. That's why I'm saying that. I'm like, just now, I'm like, oh, I mean, I can't avoid it. It's right in front of me. I might as well grab it. There should be a lush cave somewhere around here pretty close. A formidable opponent has appeared. Two formidable opponents. I am so, so, so... Uh, I am so, so underpowered. I really need to get diamond armor. Okay, making a crafting hut. Because we need this desperately. I know we don't have a ton of diamonds, but it's whatever. Chest plate first. 
And then we can do a hat. Oh, that's actually what broke, too. Okay. <laughs> I actually didn't know it broke, but I want to make, you know, the best piece of armor, which is the chest plate. Okay. Okay. Face me now, demon! Yeah. <laughs> you take very little damage now. Or I take very little damage now. Okay. We'll get this gold up here. I'm feeling like I'm feeling like I'm playing like at a high level right now. Like I'm like going real fast. I'm like, you know, I'm I'm being careful. I'm being smart with it. But I'm not leaving any stone unturned with this exploration. I'm trying to kind of get the lay of the land as quickly as possible without wasting any time of you or myself. Okay. I want to take in in there. Very a very strange roof. Is this a big vein? No, it's okay. We need to find more iron. We need to find more iron. But those are super rare. We'll probably go over to that lush cave. See if there's anything. Because, you know, those usually will have, like, a pretty big area. Well, at least in the past, it seems to be the case. That they'll have, like, a pretty big strewn about area underground. And you can find a big vein in there pretty easy. So, let's go back over. Well, let's go down here. I think that just connects... Um, we been over here? No, we haven't been over here, but there's nothing in here. Okay. All right, back to... I know, you guys are probably bugged by the fact I, like, walk over some veins, collect some, but to be fair, we're going to encounter so much, like, redstone and stuff. We already have... Wow, we have over two stacks of redstone. I didn't even feel like I've gotten very much. Okay, no iron, nothing. Okay. I think it was back over here to the right. Almost certain it was back over here. Small little hole. Okay, is this a big one? No. Oh my god, that is a giant lava pocket. Do you hear that? Yeah, it's pretty big. Might check it out. Really? Where? That is one of the deadliest things in Minecraft. Water plus a skeleton. That can end. It doesn't matter what you have. You can't swim very f Well, you have aqua affinity, I guess. <laughs> so if you have that one enchantment, then you're okay. Otherwise, you're pretty boned. Get it? Because it's a skeleton? Aha! I am the funniest person ever. I am so funny. I'm laughing so hard. Dude, that's like that was 50 redstone for just those little couple ore pieces. Um I just remember the first time I played the game. Um and I found these big lava pools. I used to always, you know, like scaffold with some cobblestone. This is kind of dangerous and dark. Uh, I I would just scaffold with cobblestone or whatever, right? To get across those big lava lakes. And then I was watching a Let's Play and I saw someone put a bucket of water down and I was like, wait, what? And I did it. It was the most satisfying thing in the world. I don't know if you guys remember the first time you ever would, uh, I don't even know what it's called, put out a lava pool or whatever. Dude, it was so nice. Hoping for some more diamonds, but... I'm not sure. We'll try going over here. Now, if I'm honest with... Okay, nice. Okay, we'll have to remember these chords. Negative 1655, negative 110. Nice big geode. Nice big geode. Okay. We'll have to remember that because otherwise we're never gonna find it again. Not that we have to, like, remember it, but... I will, you know, probably in the future be like, I really need amethyst. I'll remember, oh yeah, I just got to go back to episode 9 at uh, X time. Which I guess you guys will have to remind me in the comments. So you guys can be, uh, you guys can be my help. <gasps> help me find it. I see that iron, but I'm off. My eyes are set on a bigger prize here. 
Oh, okay. So you can kind of see the corner of it right there. Nice. I'm pretty sure that's the same one. Okay. Actually, I don't... I know, I know, but I don't... I don't have room. With all the stuff, I shouldn't have made so many torches, but I don't have room for that kind of stuff. And coal... We, we can, let's be honest. We can get more coal so fast. We've got to find where that, that, that little bit of clay was. I remember it was somewhere around here. Yeah, okay. Now, it doesn't mean it's a big lush forest or anything, but like, it means there's got to be one somewhat close to here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. It means there's diamonds, right? That's a double pocket. Oh, 22? Uh, yeah, I'll take that gladly. Boots and pants, yeah. No, we're all so geared up. Okay. Full diamond armor, man. Full diamond armor. Let's go. And we still got, you know, 11 diamonds left over. I said it's pretty good. Okay, no more dilly-dallying around. I need a shovel. I should have just kept my shovel, but I didn't. That's okay. Cause I don't know where this I don't know where this thing is. I know it's gotta be around here, but I don't know where. Loki buddy, I don't think it's time for you to jump up. I can give you a pet. Yes, I can give you a pet, but you can't jump up. You're good kitty. But I'm bu dad's busy. Call Minecraft. Yes, call call work. Ow, ow, not your claws. Oh. They do not understand how uh, soft we are. Because cats have very like thick skin, right? Like the they're, they're, they're made like that because, you know, they'll play and, well, they're cats, so they need to be protected from other cats. They have very thick, tough skin. Whereas humans, we got soft skin, so their claws really hurt. There's no way there's just a random vein of... There is just a random vein of clay? Huh? Is that a thing? Uh... Is there really just a random vein of clay? Oh, wait. More clay, that's a good sign. Oh, come on, dude. Come on, dude, don't do me like that. I will take this. Thank you, my good sir. I don't know how much further I'm going to pursue this, if I'm honest. I don't hear any mobs or signs of a cave. Yeah, man, I don't know. That's super weird, though, that there's just some random clay. And we dug up pretty far. Hmm. Well, it is what it is. And I can tell you what it isn't. <laughs> That's a lush cave. Okay, well, I'll keep exploring. I'm going to try to make myself find that mine shaft again I don't <laughs> I don't remember where it is at all I know it's back over in this direction but where I don't know is this what oh right here nice okay Ooh. Uh, <laughs> yeah I'll take the iron I'll take the mine shaft that's it and then I'll break it uh, oh no I picked up so much stuff what did I pick up okay we don't need that because I have limited inventory space. Most of it needs to be saved for iron. And, you know, I don't know how much of it we'll actually end up finding. But hopefully we'll find a big vein here pretty soon. That would be a winner. If we could find a big, big iron vein. Okay, I've got to go up here. Come on. <laughs> what, what was that? What was that? It's nice with diamond armor, though. You die pretty slowly from uh, from lava. Oh, no. I don't want to find one of those little cave spider dungeons. I'm not a fan. 
I am a fan of those. I like those. These are great. Yeah, very, very nice. I will take those any day of the week. Out of torches again. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'll probably end up crafting them on accident, but I am very much so not out of torches. We found over a stack of gold, dude. That's killer. And with Fortune 3, if we find just one of those big veins, we will be very happy campers. I think this is where we initially came in, is it not? Yeah, this is where we like first came in. Maybe. Actually, I don't know about that, because we had to dig to find the mine shaft. We heard a zombie. But it's close. It's close, I think. Uh, I've got a better feeling about this way. Please, 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 please. That seems like a dungeon. That's gotta be a dungeon. That's like... Or that or we're just very unlucky. What? Okay, that's a good sign for a dungeon. Where would it be, though? Uh, um... I guess not. No, I guess not, huh. A lot of zombies. Four zombies, and or three zombies, including a baby... Baby chicken zombie, okay. I'm sorry, yes, the chicken lives! That's what I wanted. I was like, I'm very sorry, Mr. Chicken, but... Your enemy is, uh, upon you. Up on you, literally, riding you around. Big vein? Of course it isn't a big vein. What did I expect? Big vein? Hey! I was gonna say, there's no way it's not a dungeon, man. Okay, well, we gotta remember cat. I don't know if I have that, so I'm gonna keep that. Okay, another dungeon at uh, negative 1541, negative 265. With a nice little minecart chest next to it. Not a lot in there, but you know, I'll take the torches. I'll take the name tag. Ha! No way that ends there. I guess it does. Man, I was really hoping for a big vein, but I know they're rare. I just didn't realize like how rare, I guess. Anything down here? Oh wow, there's a mine shaft down all the way here. Yo, this is low. For a mine shaft, this is extremely low. Wow. Might be the lowest mine shaft I've ever found. We need to Well, I hope there Oh, there is a name tag. Hold on. I think I may have gotten a little bit more than I asked for. Okay, where... What did I pick up I don't want? I don't know. We have three name tags, though. Big vein? Big vein, please? Oh. Oh. No. So close. Wait, 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 wait. No! Where are all the big ones at? We need a big vein. Desperately. Thank you. Take your sweet time, lava. This is awesome, though, dude. This is so nice. Oh my gosh, even lower? No way. Whoa, dude. We're at negative 57 in a railway. Wow, okay. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Try to break it with a shovel and then run away out of embarrassment. That's perfect. To get some redemption ore right there. Not the whole vein though. Just, just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh my goodness. Well, it looks like we've already been on part of this. Yeah. Yeah, we've been down part of this. And it looks a little scary that way. We'll continue on our easy way with uh. Uh, a small amount of mobs. A small amount of mobs. Okay. I don't... I, maybe maybe we explored all this. Uh, 
I hear some stuff like super close. Yeah. I think we've already been over here though. No? No, we have not. Okay, there's a direction down that way. I try to mentally map as much as I as I can, but like it is somewhat difficult. Okay. I'll take the torches. Hey! I'll take the diamonds too. Thank you, my friend. 21 diamonds. We, we, we needed to go on a serious mining expedition like this, though. We really genuinely do. I'm happy we're doing it. Okay, we'll go down here. Uh. Hey, what? Nice, okay. I'm not gonna complain about that. That was probably the best time with one of those I've ever had. Not one amount, not one bit of poison. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Ooh, a double mine shaft. Pretty cool. Pretty nifty. Pretty nifty indeed. Good bit of iron. Good bit of iron. Any diamonds up there? No. No diamond. Make me sad. No diamond for Neo. Well, over here. Gold? So we're finding everything but what we need, but I'm not going to say that it's been bad. It's just frustrating a little bit. Because I really, really need diamonds, man. Like, super bad. Or iron, sorry. Okay, I know. <laughs> I don't want to go in here. <laughs> uh... No! To be fair, he fell on top of me. There's nothing I could do. Is this the end of it right here? Oh, wow. That was a short one. Okay. Oh, I guess we've already been down this one. Big? No! Just a single? Come on! You know you want to give me a big one. Well, I guess I don't really know... I guess I've already been here. I don't really know if I'm going to keep exploring the mine shaft or if I'm going to just go try to find a cave because I thought by now we would have found a cave since we found a mine shaft, but doesn't look to be that way. At least not so far. So let me keep exploring. Okay. I heard the cave noise, which makes me think right below there, there has to be a cave. But then I think about it and we're already at negative 54 and I think you can only go to like negative 64. So, I don't know how true that is. Okay, well, I'm glad I went in here. A little, a little tricky to get in here, nonetheless, but I'm glad I went in here. Oh, I'm really glad. What do, we need? do we have 32 diamonds? Uh, thank you? Oh, okay, we're right back here. Nice, okay. Back to the big room. Okay, well, I'll dig down in the center of the big room. Let's see, how deep can you... I thought it was negative 64. I think you can go to negative 64, but like this is the top of the bedrock layer. I'm just going to strip mine in this direction until we find either a big vein. I'm going to strip mine in. Ah, oh, well, thank God I chose di a different direction. Jeez, the luck is unreal. You got to do it's unexpected, man. Diamonds. 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. I said I was going to strip mine, not find an ancient city. How did I not see this or hear this in the mine shaft? Is it just right up there? It literally tells you, like, they can see the sound things going into it. Is it up there? Okay. Okay. A little something to deal with. Huh. Not a very great something to deal with, but it is something. Okay. Anyways, I got I to gotta continue on my journey. Okay. 
I've just been like, you know, tunneling around down here. I heard lava. Dug up to it. Now I don't know what's here or if it's a big cave. But I'm hoping, well I know this isn't a big cave, but maybe it leads to a big cave. We were in a big cave before. I almost regret leaving it a little bit. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Uh Okay. Only because I really just want to find a big iron vein. I don't really have any interest in, like, just caving right now. I never wanted to cave. I wanted to I wanted to find the big iron. I hear a skelly. What? Are you serious? Okay. I mean, okay. Take another one of those. Take the horse armor. Feather falling three, I'm not gonna lie, is looking mighty fine right now. We'll uh, repay you with some junk. How about that? Okay, so a skelly spawner at negative 15, 11, negative 334. Okay. <laughs> some diamonds. Just one vein, so you can make a shovel. You can make a shovel if you uh, start off near here. Okay, a little something over there. A little something right there. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Is this a big? Uh, it is big, but it's not what we're looking for. Where are you? Is this a big one? No, there's a little, like, channel back here, though. It's kind of interesting. Huh? Okay. This is what it is. It's like a shrieker over here. What? <laughs> Now you can't spawn. You can darken my screen all you want, but you can't spawn, buddy. So how about you bug off? Cool. Yeah, I mean... It's cool. Like, I like this little cave, but... Hmm, no iron. I mean... A little bit. A little something. Trying to find something to trying to find something to just like surprise me, but yeah, no such luck. I mean, not every time you go out caving can you find the most massive, beautiful caves in the world, but yeah, throw throw me a bone, Minecraft. Throw me a bone. Throw me something, dude. What does this lead to just junk? You know, just junk. All right, well, I'll keep on my journey. Okay, well, I just been mining. I heard lava. Thought it was a cave or something. Found something. I've been digging for like a long time. I know you. <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell, but like that's the end of the tunnel over there where where we last recorded. Okay. I mean, I'm not unhappy with. We have found a few more. <gasps> uh, the diamonds there reminded me of. We found a few more diamonds. We have over a stack. I say a few more because you can get up to four per ore whenever you have a uh, fortune three pickaxe. Which we're going to have to repair somewhat soon. Again, I'm just looking for a big iron vein. That's literally all I'm trying to find. I don't really want to mine anything else. Our inventory is already pretty jam-packed full. Um, if I had shulker boxes, that would be a dream. Maybe I'll only use... Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'll only use elytra and elytra in the end. I feel like that's something you need for the end because it's kind of hard to navigate without it. It just takes hours, hours. Cause I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to wear wings and then and then lose sight of what makes the game special. Especially in caves. Caves are fun to navigate, but you could if you could just fly through the massive caves. It makes them feel. Sm it, it, it makes the world feel small. It makes the world feel small. Um, or if we're like you know maybe if we're traversing to a whole new. That's not my sword. <laughs> I just discovered that is indeed not my sword. Great job, Creeper. You need to go back to Creeper Academy, because you didn't do your job very well. Oh, I need the big vein. Hey, at least we have over a stack now. That's good. That's good. Very good. Very, very good. Okay, well, I thought I'd come back because, you know, we found a cave, but I, I don't, I don't know. If I find a big vein, I'll come back. If not, then I, I will find a big vein. It's just a matter. 
Wow. <laughs> that kind of scared me. It's just a matter of how long will it take to find it. Oh, that was a little, a little wraparound cave. Okay. We're going down. More diamonds. Dude. We're stacked on the diamonds now. A stack of 64 with a little bit of 13 on the side. Hmm. Not cool, man. Not cool. You know what? I am going to literally just mine straight in this direction right here until we find a big vein or a cave. I'll see you then. You can't make this stuff up. You, you literally can't make this stuff up. I was literally right here. The, you know, I put these blocks down, put a torch, turned around. Then I start mining and <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. Like, okay. Another mine shaft. This can't be the same one. Like, there's absolutely no way. Is that a big vein? No, it's not a big vein. That's no. I, I will take the torches. We are actually. What's funny is we're gonna run out of torches. We need to stop just putting them down all willy nilly. Yeah, we're gonna run out of you. Uh, actually, we can just find some coal. Well, it's not even coal. Skelly dungeon. Or just a couple skellies. My money is on a couple skellies. I think our dungeon luck has probably run out. Uh, how many, I don't know how many we've found so far, but it's a good bit. The reason I like to put them down in mine shafts is I feel like you'll run around forever in these if you don't light, light them up. That's why. Just remembered I put so many down. Um, no, nothing down there. Hmm, maybe over here? Big vein? Big vein, please. That's a dungeon. Spider one. Five name tags. That seems like the biggest find thus far is five name tags. Oh no. <laughs> Armored skeleton is a double negatory, Sergeant. Not gonna deal with you. I will deal with you though, low bearing mine shop. Nope. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, well, I'll come back if I find anything cool. Like a big, uh... Like a big iron vein. If not, then we're just gonna be running around for quite a bit. Oh, I'm still recording. <laughs> Hi, guys. I didn't realize I was still recording. I thought I pressed the button. Whoops. Ladies and gentlemen, you can't make this stuff up another dungeon. You know, a spider dungeon, so not the best kind, but still a dungeon. What's this, the third dungeon? Right as I said, there's no way we can find another one. And we found another one. Let's go. I mean, hey, <laughs> six name tags. A little bit more uh, uh, golden apple. Uh, I don't have the room, man. I don't have the room. Well, let's keep the ball rolling. Maybe we can find some more. There's some wood. I feel like when I record, I find more stuff. But maybe that's not true. Oh, we're getting so low on torches. Okay, we need to save them for like emergencies now. Dude, what? No way. Four dungeons. Four dungeons. Ow. We can't make it up if you wanted to. I came onto the world and placed dungeons. I don't even know how you place a dungeon. It's the nature of a mine shaft, though. They're just, like, very... Very open spaces underground, so I guess it's easy to find them. I don't know. The cords are negative 1483, negative 791. 
power too. I think you have to put up feather falling. I don't I don't really think there's a place for it anymore. And some diamonds. Okay. And a nice little uh nice little spot for some gold. Okay, not a bad find. Not a bad find at all. A golden apple. We didn't take the other one, so for some reason I will take the coal, because we really are desperately gonna need torches here pretty soon. We can we have enough to make 26 pieces of charcoal though. Okay, as much as I love the mine shaft, I'm getting distracted. I need to find a big vein. I'm just gonna mine. Okay, I'm here. I, 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 is that a cat? What? Dude, okay, so. I'm mining diamonds. I, I, I found some diamonds. I found a bunch more, actually. There was some right over there. Huh? Well, what happened in the world? How? And why'd you come back now? We're underground! Dude, I can't explain. You guys told me that when a cat sits on a bed, it's going to stay there forever. Okay. I was going to plan. I was planning to go back and get it at some point. What, what happened to the bed? Huh? Bad kitty. Bad kitty, you made me a bad, you made me a sad human. No, I'm kidding, good kitty. <laughs> you good kitty, you very good kitty, but how? <laughs> yeah, by the way, I, I gave up on that. I was like, you know what, there's a mine shaft here, I might as well explore it. I started exploring it again. How did you come back? I heard a cat, I thought I was just like losing my mind. I was like, a cat? Like, why is there... Well, I thought I thought I thought that was another random cat. I was about to lose it. I was like, dude, I don't know what's going on. How did the cat come back? How did the cat come back? I heard that I heard that little meow. I dude, does anyone have any explanation in the comments? Please tell me how. Like someone someone please tell me how this is Very good spin. Yes, yeah, very good kitty. He is very good kitty. I'm trying to get a screenshot of you in the mine shaft since it makes no sense. You shouldn't go over there. That that's just the weirdest. That's one of the strangest things I've ever seen. I I literally have no explanation for how that could have happened. No, no, no don't go over there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Run away. Is there skeletons over here? No, just a dungeon. Why don't you come over here, buddy? Why don't you come over here? I know my FOV is small. The things we do for the screenshots. Yes, there you go. Like, what? Oh. Oh. My brain, my brain is so confused. Like, I, I'm genuinely... I'm, I'm at a loss, and I know I won't shut up about it. But I just, I can't. I can't handle this. <laughs> okay, well, back to trying to find a big vein, I guess? I don't know. Okay, well, I had to stop to make a pit stop because I lost my torch. I don't know how. We're still in the mine shaft. Just uh, wanted to mine through this. I guess see it was on the other side, but then I realized it's getting so dark. I can't see. POV, you are the Neo Cubist. And this is what you see. See, because I don't think you guys want to cave around like this. I mean, you literally, you literally can't see anything. Okay, well. Ah. But yeah, we need to try to compact a few materials because... Yes, hello, kitty cat. You're very sweet. I wish you wouldn't be in here right now. This is not a great place for you, but... You know what? If it's where you think you must be, it is where you will be. But this should give us a little bit extra torches... I figure we can just break some of the mine shaft to get wood. Um, we may have a little bit extra. I don't know. Some right there. I don't need a lot of torches. I just need enough. I, I'll just kind of hold them from now on. Yes, get in here where it's safe. Yes, you can. You can have a lot. <gasps> no, no, no! I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. And your tail is so far down. You really need food. I, I can imagine you've been through a lot on your journey, and you don't need me accidentally hitting you. But yes, we need to make an anvil. This thing is going to break sooner rather than later. Okay, there will be a little bit extra in there. 
Actually, a good bit of torches. Okay. A little bit in there, a little bit in there. Okay. Well, if we need to, we have a little bit extra. Just a little bit. We'll dig a big old hole there to throw junk in. I know I don't really need glow berries. I don't remember exactly how to make... I think you just need one, two, three. And then it's like this. Right? Yes, there we go. That's an anvil. Okay, we need to repair this. That costs two. That costs 24. Okay. There we go. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep the anvil. I'm going to break this stuff. We don't need it. Uh, I'm going to keep the anvil. What fell in there? I don't think anything useful. We're going to combine stuff like redstone, gold we could even combine and make more compact, lapis we could, diamonds, funnily enough, we can, um, iron, not really, but redstone for sure. Yeah, there we go. Now we have a ton more inventory space. Okay, we're cooking now, guys. This is easily one of the most extreme mining operations I've ever done. I just I just wasted all of my Okay. Yes, I know you can traverse through here very easily. I don't even know where you came from. Oh, probably right here. The one I walked right past and somehow missed. I need I need a I need two pieces of wood. Actually, no. Yeah, two pieces of wood so I can get an axe. And then we can get wood down here. It's really nice to find a mine shaft. You can you can really do a lot with these. I swear to God, I just heard something. I know I'm safe from... I just said I know I'm safe from creepers. What was that? How did the creeper walk up to the cat like that? It was within a couple of blocks. Come on, almost killed the kitty. Almost killed the kitty. What did the kitty do to you? Just hanging out being a kitty going meow meow. I know. I know there can be a bad man out here. Very bad, bad man. Gonna get you. I'll pro yeah, I know. I'll protect you. I'll protect you. Don't worry. Don't worry. Old Neo's got you. Okay. I don't know how much wood we need, but this is probably good. As I continue to get bored more. I just don't want to be in a situation where we're out of wood. Because, I mean, this is the kind of mining trip where I should probably... I realize I should probably get that. I should probably go back by now because I have so much stuff. Like, this is more stuff than we have in all the chests up there, like, resource-wise. Do I see another one? Where did you even come from? What's that? Oh, that's how I got up here. Okay. Hey, <laughs> good place to get a little bit. Okay. Okay. I think 40 is a good round number. <gasps> Big vein? Big vein? Oh, please, come on. Don't do any. Don't. Oh, no. Come on. No. You know what? It, it, this has been the best mining trip ever just because we got our cat back. Okay? We don't really need furnaces, if I'm honest. We got our cat back, so I, I can't be upset. And I'm not really upset. I just... I still... I, I'm disappointed because of the iron, but... Yes, I, I, I got the cat back. So we, prob we should probably go back now that we have the cat back. But we are venturing on. In pursuit of a noble greater thing. Did we look up up here? Was there anything on this layer? I'm just going to ignore that. Is that what I think it is? Dude, what? Is that five dungeons? Can someone count? Is that five dungeons in one exploration run? I will take the iron very much so take the iron I don't know if we need three of the same music disc we already have one okay a bat great okay well I'll keep exploring because we gotta find a big iron vein I am not messing around I have literally dug for like 30 minutes I don't know if you can see at the end of the tunnel how far away that is that's how far I've dug that little pixel in the middle of your screen all the way over there 
It's probably close to like seven, eight hundred blocks. Uh, maybe not that far, but we have gone quite the distance. And uh, I figured we'd stop off in our first big cave. I mean, it looks like a big cave. I don't know. We'll kind of find it out. Oh, please. <gasps> yes! Please. I can't dig anymore. I was about to give up. Never give up on your dreams. Your dreams are meant to be a reality. We have a big cave. Diamonds. We have a big cave. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the big cave game show. I'm your host, Ninio Cubist here. This is a pretty big cave. Well, we're getting distracted. We're getting distracted. We finally found it, it looks like a big vein. I'm very lucky I dug straight into a big cave. You know, what are the chances, man? What are the chances? Okay, um, we need to do this without killing our cat, which cats are kind of cats are kind of crazy. Is this a big vein? Indeed, it is. Ha ha! And right next to the lava. Perfect. Okay, well, we got to clear our inventory out. I don't imagine we're gonna be making any more torches. We're just gonna go straight out of here. Three gold ingots? Nah, we don't. We're not getting any more gold. Uh, don't need string. Don't need charcoal. Don't need two redstone. We have so much lapis. Uh, okay. So iron horse armor is kind of mid. I'm gonna try to get this much iron in stacked form. We're going to avenge those buckets, okay? Those buckets were an embarrassment to uh, to us. Uh, we don't have any building blocks. <laughs> it's a little tricky. A little tricky to get out. I wanted to go... Okay, that one's kind of hard to get. I wanted to go over here where I saw the big, big vein. Okay, if I can aggro the skeleton, then we'll be good. Yep. Yep, we're doing just fine. Seriously, though, this is... I think this might be one of the longest... <gasps> oh, that's beautiful. I see so many diamonds that I'm just not going to get. I mean, dude, we have... <laughs> I, don't, I don't even want to know how many that is, but that is a lot of diamonds. Like, that is a lot, lot of diamonds. Um... I guess we can't even repair a pickaxe if we wanted to. Ah, uh, well, we threw the wood into the lava. There's no going back. Oh, uh, there's no going back at this point. So, this looks to be a very, very large vein of iron. I hope. Please don't just end right here, dude. Please. Please. I, I, I need a bone, Minecraft. If anyone needs a bone, I need a bone. Yes, dude, it keeps going. Let's go. Well, it only took us like an hour, an hour and a half of mining to find one. I didn't know how freaking rare they are, though, dude. I looked it up, and they're not supposed to be like super rare or anything. I mean, we, we found some under our base and like the caves near our home, but other than that, I mean, I haven't really had super good luck with them down here, at least. Whatever. It is what it is. Okay. Well, I'm going to be gathering iron for the next, uh, you know, to be honest with you, I don't know how long I'm going to be gathering iron, but we'll film a little bit just because it's so satisfying after, you know, waiting to find it for so long. And then I'm going to go absolutely crazy on the iron. Hopefully we'll use up this entire pickaxe and then we'll come back with a bunch of iron. Sound good? Yes, me and the kitty just mining iron. It's so nice with this fast pickaxe, dude. It's so nice. I'm going to keep one of those. Just so we can come back and see how many of them we found. Oh, this is crazy, dude. This is wild. I love these things. Like, I love that they added them. Because you have iron farms to counter these. Like, these are not overpowered. You can just go make a farm for infinite iron. So if you really think this is overpowered, check yourself. Okay, guys, well, I literally think I've mined out the entirety of this thing. I've just been mining, 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 like, absolute crazy. And uh, these were, like, very, like, compact. Like, I seem to have found most of everything here. Uh, we came down over here. We actually found an entirely new one, I think. But then I found the edge of it. I don't know, but uh, we have... Let's see how much. <laughs> You gotta love these things, man. That's a lot of iron, plus this. Like, that's almost 16 stacks of iron, dude. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I kind of want to be able to come back here, but at the same time, I think this is very, very far away from home. 
So, I am going to staircase my way out of here because I don't think there's going to be a friendly way for me to exit. At least it doesn't look like it. So, I'm going to staircase out and when I reach the top, I'll let you know. And, uh, yeah. See you in a bit. I'm just a man trying to find his way home. I put it on 64 render distance. I built quite a tall spire. I, div I literally have no idea where home is. I see there's a village over there. Um, dark oak forest. Okay, okay. Is this is this perhaps where that spruce village is? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I am. Oh no. Oh no. Well, I I feel like I I'm closer to. It's definitely got to be like over there. I think just because we like this way is more negative okay so let's jump down <clears throat> not die with all this stuff bring our cat all the way back home which by the way i'm still very surprised that this happened now i don't think i know i know don't get on to me i don't think we're gonna finish the moat this episode i don't know if i don't know if i have it in me that was like seriously about about a two hour and 30 minute mining operation that's probably one of the biggest ones ever. I mean, look at all this stuff, dude. Like, that's freaking crazy for one little... I say little. For one mining, like, opportunity or... I don't know. I can't speak. One mining operation. That's quite a bit. I'm just guessing that my house is this way. I'm still flabbergasted that the cat randomly appeared behind me. If anybody has any idea... I mean, I don't know if that's a bug, but if they, if they find, like, a... What? Ah, I I think this is the right direction. Man, we went a long ways underground. Because I guess at some point we were on that shore and crafted stuff and then threw out what we didn't need. I guess? Kind of a mystery. I, I Then I'm going to assume that our house is somewhere in this direction. And hopefully we're not headed the polar opposite direction. I, I really, really hope it's becoming dark, so it's going to get harder and harder to navigate. And the chances Mr. Kitty Cat die is very high. So we're going to be, we're going to be smart and we're going to be safe. And we can, we can traverse back. Yes. He said, meow. Yes, we can. I know, buddy. We're going to make it, me and you. We're going to make it far in this world. Um, I can give you some fish so that you're not low health anymore. I have not slept. You are correct. This this is gonna be a night to remember. <laughs> oh no, I I literally don't have. Oh, I do have some inventory space. This is about to be a night to remember. The phantoms. I'm not super excited about. Honestly, I had forgotten they existed. That's not sleeping more than three Minecraft nights. So I mean, we've been out here for a while. Oh, I'm really not looking forward to this. Here you go, buddy. There you go. Full health. Yes, and now you're purring. You're standing up, right? Come on. We gotta go. No time to waste. I could kill these three sheep. Um, we're totally gonna do that and make a bet. We need one so bad. Okay. No more tough, but we were... We want to preemptively make a few things, like uh, having... What am I doing? Having... What am I doing? Okay, three sheep. I see a creeper, but it's okay. I am not going to worry. Okay. Three wool. Three wool. Bed. Why can I craft so many things? Okay, we gotta get out of here, dude. Ah. <sighs> oh. Ah. <sighs> yes, now don't stay on this bed. This is not a real bed. That was a prop bed fake bed I feel like it's in this direction but I really don't know I mean we're getting less and less negative in the coordinates and I feel like I was not a thousand blocks in this direction so I'm pretty sure if we just head this way you're scared of creepers aren't you are you scared off the creepers don't you yes you do <laughs> how does it feel to be running 
Yeah, you don't like that, do you? Yeah, get out of here. Oh, it's kind of nice having a cat with you. So I feel like it's over there, maybe. I don't know. I'll, I'll see if I can find my way home. And I will uh, catch you guys on the flippity flip. That looks like home to me. Yes, buddy, we are home. The pillar, the great pillager outpost on the hill has helped me find home so many times. And I was right about my hunch that it's close-ish to zero, zero. Uh, it's more like, I don't know. Well, I need to find the coordinates when I get up there just so I can remember them. And maybe we can make a song or something. <laughs> I'm kind of dead inside after that mining operation. We're definitely going to call it here, guys. Well, I'm going to go put everything in the blast furnace and stuff. But yeah, give me a bit. Let me make it over there. And then I will come back in a jiff. Um, excuse me, good sir. I think, I think you have found the, uh, the way out. And I don't, I don't particularly love the fact that you've just escaped. Might have to put this horse downstairs. <laughs> uh, I guess they found out they can crawl up the stairs and just walk out whenever they so please. And, uh, we can't have that here at, uh, the Neo Castle of Greatness. So we're going to make a hole and you're going in it. Yes, you can stay down here. <laughs> I don't I don't think I can climb up the stairs. At least not one wide stairs. Okay, well we don't even have enough blast furnaces to handle this much iron, but like, dude, this is so much iron. I I I gotta I gotta put up some stuff. Look at all we found even more diamonds. Oh look at this dude. This is like this is like uh I mined in between episode status of diamonds. I said, you know what? We're coming back and we're balling. <laughs> we literally are balling. Oh my gosh. Look at all the gold. Not a ton of gold, not a ton of anything else really, but uh, uh, an admiral, an admirable amount of everything. Now these guys have to be split into stacks of eight. This is a rare material. This is just a crafting table that I... You guys always joke I make a lot of crafting tables, and you're not wrong. I do make quite a few, but they're always for good use. For good use. Wow, dude. These are all about to be cooking. Well, we should have enough cauldrons for our next episode to make the moat. <laughs> I think. Uh, we'll probably, in between episodes, go and grab a bunch of... Buckets of lava and put them in like a chest in there and then kind of make it. Yeah, we don't have nearly enough <laughs> blast furnaces. It's honestly okay. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to be impatient. I'll just put them in here too. It doesn't really make a difference where they are. In due time. In due time. Jeez, dude. All of those cooking with the iron. Well, thank you guys for watching today's episode. Secret code is going to be Okay, it's why is it always 83? 4389. Put that down in the comments below if you want to show me that you watch the entirety of today's video. Again, that is 4389. In the next episode, we'll get to the moat, get to the lava farm. Going to be a nice episode. I think this one was too. Uh Mr. Kitty, you're going to go over here. Um now the episode did come out while I was recording. So you know what we're going to do? We're gonna take the anvil, which I'm, I'm gonna leave an anvil in our house because you know we need to rename stuff or, or do whatever. So we'll go ahead and just uh, plop you down there. And we're gonna name the kitty cat and we're going to name the dog. So let's go find some comments. All right, guys, the dog's name coming from user hybrid Yuki, coming from viewer hybrid Yuki, I guess, is going to be Mojo. Pretty good name for a dog. I like it. Okay, Mojo. Are you ready for your name tag? It's dark, but it's okay. We're in a very, very safe, protected castle. That's protected. Mojo! Congratulations, and thank you to viewer hybrid Yuki. I really appreciate it. Okay, now let's go pick ourselves a kitty cat name. I think from the first episode is when we found the kitty. Um, you're going to be very safe and very... Where's the cat? I hear you, but where are you? You're up here. Come down here, buddy. Come down here. You need to be safe. Come on. Maybe if we go over here, like in the far corner. 
Come on. Dude, you gotta get down here. We're not... We're not messing around. No, we're not messing around. Come on. Going downstairs. We cannot have you be lost again. Down you go. This actually worked out way better than I thought. Come here. No, 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 no. Why pathfind the direction I did not push you? Come on. Down the stairs you go. Down. No. Yeah, now, now where are you going to go? Yeah. Okay, over here, over here. There you go. Okay, now to episode one to find a user. All right, I've been scrolling for like 10 minutes. I don't remember what video I asked. I checked the first three episodes, but I don't know how I missed all the comments about it. But if you guys have a name for the kitty cat, the long lost kitty. Actually, I don't know if you guys remember this. I'm going to name the kitty cat something. I don't know if you guys remember this from the first big Let's Play we did with 129 episodes, but Snowbell is back. She is the greatest kitty in the world. Back from the village, I don't know how. I appreciate you guys watching. Secret code 4389. See you in the next one. Bye!